Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> What you gonna do? Or what you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. Or what you gonna do? Or what you gonna do when they come for you? Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I was born here, moved to Florida when I was five, lived there for about 12 years, then California. I've lived just about everywhere in between. Uh, Arizona and Colorado. I came here from Colorado about three years ago. And uh, I was in a professional white collar type job. I had a really good job. Uh, started talking to a bunch of my buddies who were cops, and they were about the only ones who liked their jobs, who had fun. And uh, I figured I'd check into it. I wouldn't trade it for anything right now. Supervising this information on 416 and Charlie 1 at the Motel 34th South. Uh, we got a fight in the parking lot of one of the uh, nude dancing bars here. Security's uh, not able to tell us what they've got, so we're just going to see what's going on. Patrol and Charlie 5 arrived. Subjects one down in the street. Nice copy. Go ahead and roll medical. What's going on? Who was it? Old man right here. They got into it? Yep. Okay. Medical's coming for you, all right? Hey, you all right? There's a knife over there, too. So. Who had the knife? We don't know. We came you out know? here. We came out of the You guys are security for inside? Yes, sir. Yeah. Are you inside also? I was inside. Okay. And you were involved in this, sir? Yeah. Well, yeah. He tried to rob me. He asked me for a quarter. He tried uh -huh. to take my watch off. He pulled a knife on me. The knife was somewhere over here. Okay. Yeah, we see that. And I tried to stop him. And, of course, I convinced him to stop him. Yeah? Which I did. Whoop on him a little bit during that? Were you out here? Is there anybody else out here with you? I don't know. They have so quick. Charlie 1, Charlie 5, it's code 4, it looks like a possible 407. He tried to get my wallet, too. Yeah? Oh, he didn't so get there wasn't that. anybody else out here with you, huh? Uh, no. Looks like you got the best of them, if that's what happened. Well, uh, you got Why don't right. you go ahead and give me your uh, ID and everything? Okay. Did you see this guy at all tonight anywhere no, else? He wasn't was inside or anything? No, I just walked down the street. You see, he got a quarter. I said, I ain't got no quarter. They pulled this uh, knife. What knife? Uh, yeah, I see the knife. We got okay. the knife covered. I, I just lodged it from him. Uh -huh. I convinced him doing what I got to do. OK. What would you have done? I'm with you. I might have done the same exact thing. If that was the circumstance, I, I think I would have done a little more. Me. Stay around here for me for a few minutes, okay? We'll talk to you again in a few minutes. Let me get this guy. You know, this guy might have AIDS or something. What happened? Uh, uh, you were what? I was with them. Where's your uh, ID? Tienes papeles? Uh, yeah. uh, Tommy. Dame su licenza. No, no, no. Levántate. ¿Puedo? Go ahead and sit down. Okay. Don't wander off. Okay, go ahead and sit over there. You don't need to pick it up and hand it to me. We'll take care of everything from here, okay? Yeah. You got an eye witness? Did you see this knife at all? That's, I, I didn't see the knife. Did, Did you, you see the guy in the black hold the knife? Anything? No. no. Okay. That's when I went inside, you know, because I'm like, you know, there's going to be trouble right now. Yeah. So they started fighting, and then from here, uh, this guy on the, the blue, he almost got ran over. 
Because see, you know, when he punched him, the car just barely missed him. Okay. okay? So then, uh, then from there, um, they started going over there, but this guy, you know, he couldn't move and stuff. So that's when they started beating that. Uh, they just started fighting. But see, this guy was. Did this totally... guy just keep keep hitting him or what? Yeah, I mean, as you can see, he's not as drunk as this guy because he couldn't well, even yeah, get up. Yeah, I can see that. The other guy's really drunk. I mean, the other guy obviously got the worst of it. Uh, actually, what we need to determine is this knife here. You don't know anything like I said, about it? I, I didn't see who took out the knife, if it was him or the other guy, you know, so I don't, I don't okay. know. Okay, somebody take down your name or anything? Um, no. Can you write a statement for us? Yeah, if I have Okay, to. It'd be, it'd be real quick. Just write exactly what you told me. Whatever you didn't see, you can't write anything about, okay? I'll have somebody come over. Can you have him snap out a quick little voluntary? All he right. didn't see anything reference the knife, so. So you hit him first after you dislodged the knife. Of course. Okay. No, no, no. I'm not making any accusations. I'm trying to put the pieces together. Okay. Yeah. Of course. Stop him. I don't know if he had a knife or another knife. I said I commit. I, I hit him once. Hit him twice. Couple maybe three, times. Maybe three or four three times. times. Okay. Yeah, he went down. Good enough for me. But I wasn't gonna give him a chance to come back on me. You want what? I you want to prosecute against him? No. No. He's drunk. He's drunk. You want to well, leave it? I drank two beers. He's drunk. Yeah, he is pretty drunk. Yeah. So you, you don't want to do anything about it? No. Hey, come on. Yeah, it's your ball. It's your no, ball game. I'm just here. That, but you know what? No, I really don't. Okay, that, that's fine. That's your option. That's what we wanted to determine more than He's anything. He's got to live with that. Yeah, he does. Yeah, and you, you, you did a did a number on him from what it looks like well, to me. Well, I was supposed to. I was supposed to put him down because if I let him up, he was going to maybe kill me or something. I don't know. David, can you hear me? Do you remember what happened at all? Did you ask him for some money? Is that your knife? You don't know? Okay. But you guys just got into a fight, right? You're a little drunk to find out what happened. Okay. All right, David. Well, the medical people are going to take you away. The other guy's not going to pursue any charges or anything. He, apparently, they got in a little altercation. He had a knife, brought it out. Too drunk to stand up, and the guy whooped on him, obviously. He, he, he tried to put that in my body. Yeah, he did. I just lodged it very quickly, but then I commenced doing party time. You're an animal. Party time? Is that what it was? Were you a boxer back in the day, or what? Uh, you, 1961, you remember? No, I wasn't around in 61. I know Maris hit shot? 61 home runs in 61. Really? Yeah. See, that's baseball, though. Oh, I don't know, Bob. <laughs> I know. You bought, what, 36? No. 29. Oh, give me a break. 29. Really? really? Yeah. All right. So, well, thank you very much. Okay. Take care. All right. Have a good night. You too. I've been a police officer with the Las Vegas uh, Metro Police Department for almost four years now. I'm originally from upstate New York. Uh, I heard Las Vegas was uh, an up-and-coming city. A lot of good things have been said about the department. It's really proactive. There's, there's a lot of good people down here. I put in an interest card and took the testing, went through everything just like everybody else, and got hired. We're in a uh, violent domestic right now. Four subjects are involved, beating each other up, I guess. The details are pretty sketchy right now. It's in one of our local mobile home parks. Looks like two guys were beating on one woman. It might be a neighbor dispute. It actually came in as a domestic. But uh, medicals apparently arrived, and that's all the information we have. One of the males is still there. The other one might be back at a, a separate trailer. Pretty easy, Rob. What's up, guys? Uh, argument over. Dog feces, I guess. We okay. gotta poke the other guy. He's the guy got poked in the eye. He's fine. He doesn't want to go with us. Yeah, fine. He just kind of. He's like, well, yeah. you ain't gonna touch me. I said, no, I won't touch you. I said, it's all about dogs. Uh -huh. Apparently, they're arguing over the, the animals and whatnot. Where are the, how are the women involved in it? Wasn't it domestic or? Um, no, I guess the one, his, the guy who uh, we were kind of scrapping with. That, that went after me. His wife started to come over there, and she just told her this to stay out of it. This is your wife? Yeah, this is my fiance. We have three dogs, and so is he claiming out. that he mad because somebody's dog is oh, pooping in his it's yard? Yeah, his no, dog pooping the in his neighbor's yard. It's our dog, and uh, yeah. and he was standing up to yeah. me, and he's saying, he poked his eye out. Yeah, he goes, he um, well, you ain't gonna lay a hand on me, and I said, no, I won't lay a hand on you. All I'll do is I'll gift wrap it to poop. And I'll send it to you. And right after that, when I said I wouldn't lay a hand on him, he went 
like up like this and poke me right in the eye and then she wants it. No, poke he was digging his he'd right. come up and dig me, dug me like that. Alright. Come on, this knot you got up here. What's that from? Uh, he was trying to headbutt me. I was just trying so to hold headbutt him. you? What do you want to do out of this? I mean Well, she said want... that if I don't press charges, she's gonna. So. Well she can't press charges. You're the victim, I mean. Yeah. We went to the manager. We okay. got over by the manager's door. Mm -hmm. He started belly bopping me and pushing me. Don't get up on me, relax. Yeah, that's what he did. He started belly bopping me and pushing me. I said, don't put your hands on me. Keep your hands off me. He says, I'll go just grab a pile of that dog You say, just stand back there, all right? He said, I'll go grab a pile of that dog and stuff it down your throat. Uh-huh. And gift wrap it, right? And gift wrap it. That's what he did. So what happened to the part where it got physical? Who hit who? Phys he was belly bopping and pushing, physically attacking me. Uh-huh. People were over there watching you, Joey. That's right. People uh, saw you too. As soon as I said I wouldn't touch you, you went up no like way. that and grabbed on no me. No way. You belly bought me no and pushed way. me more than once. No, I never pushed you at all. I more than my once you did. And you swung and hit me. I the think that they saw it out there. Hey, don't hit stop me. Okay. Stop yelling, okay? okay. Stop yelling, or we're all going to go to jail tonight for disorderly. I've had to listen to everybody's mouth, and I had enough listening to it. Okay? We're not getting anywhere yelling at each other. They said they saw it out their window, too. You seen this? I saw that guy, my cousin, and then I ran outside to pull him hit apart. Him. Huh? The guy right there. I'm not saying whose fault it is. I just saw him hit him, and then I ran outside to pull him apart. That was it. So, as far as you know, this guy started it. I'm, I guess, You have the yeah. long hair? I guess, yeah. I like I said, I You're not being, are you being biased or unbiased because your cousin's the other party involved? I'm being unbiased. No, I I'm not on no sides. I just saw him swing, hit him. I came outside to break it up because they shouldn't be fighting. Okay, I agree with that. And I came outside to pull the part and they started. Were they already fighting at that point or was that the they start were, of the they fight? They were already fighting. They were already yeah, fighting. I saw him swing and hit him. I got my shoes on, I ran okay. outside. So you did not see who started it? No, I okay. just saw him swing and hit him. That was the All right. All right, thanks a lot, bud. Well, I don't know how we're going to resolve this because he's got a different side of the story than you do, and both y'all, both y'all are saying almost the same exact thing, except in each other. You know, you're saying it in your favor, he shaded it in his favor. He says you started, you're saying he started. What do you want to do out of this? Well, I'd rather him just clean up his yard, and if he's got a problem with the neighbors, don't go trying to blame it on other neighbors because we've never had problems here before. Yeah, they just so moved he's in. fairly new to the park. Yeah, yeah, so he just moved, moved in, in. and he within the in, first week or so, all of a sudden after our we've been here for a few months, our dogs have never nowhere. So now it's got to be our dogs. No, it's their own yeah. dogs too. Well, I'll go talk to him and see what, see what he wants to do because you know as long as he's willing to drop and you're I'll, willing to I'll drop. I'll put it. extra boards up to like so that I don't have to worry about. Then he'll know any dog is his own. Okay. And he, he, look, bud, okay? You guys live in the same trailer park, all right? You gotta have to live together, okay? So you're gonna have to get over this. Otherwise, you guys are gonna be feuding well, all the I'm time. Let, will you let me finish? Will you please let me finish, sir? Okay, I'm just trying to help you guys out here, okay? I can't make you guys accept the fact that you gotta live next to each other, but you're gonna have to come to the realization that we can do fight every day? No. Okay. It takes two people to fight, remember? You know what I'm saying? It takes two people to tangle. Is there gonna be more problems tonight, is what I'm no. asking you? Because he says, as long as you guys stay over there, he'll stay over here. He won't, he'll stay away from you, as long as you stay away from him. Are you willing to do that? Yes. Will that work? Yes. Honestly, truthfully? Yes. We're not going to be coming back out here tonight. No. All right, another situation resolved, hopefully. Hopefully we won't be coming back out here tonight. Otherwise, we'll take everybody to jail. Everybody's got their one side of the story. Shed it in their own light, so. Hopefully this will be another. Three sides of the story, his side. The other guy's side. And the truth. And the real truth right in the middle, right? See you on the next one, bud. Okay. Called. Actually, we got beeped. Uh, dispatch is advising us that we've got a uh, man in the desert, a gunshot wound. So at this point, we don't know whether we have a homicide or whether we have a uh, suicide. So we'll go and check it out. I'm in charge of the detective bureau and the identification bureau. This is the kind of calls we come on all the time, and they invariably happen in the middle of the night. We've got all our detectives out there, and they all end up in blue jeans and T-shirts. I'm in my jogging suit. I was at my son's baseball game. So we look a little uh, like a motley crew out there. And let's see what we got.
music. Some kind of music or something playing in the car. That's what Heredia waited for backup until he went in. He thought it may be somebody actually alive in the car. Yeah, yeah went out in the desert a couple of years ago. The guy done the same thing. He was sitting in the car, he's got the motor running and the uh, radio playing, and he put a hose to the tailpipe. Oh, is this the guy that rolled up the hose later and, and then he still got out died? Of the car, apparently, he rolled the hose back up because he had aluminum foil on it so it wouldn't melt, put it back in the car, but he had ingested too much. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow we got some information from Metro that this guy was involved in a 417 with his wife uh, earlier either today or sometime uh, real real soon from here. Um, she works over there. Uh, so I don't know what, what the scoop is yet, but that's what we've got so far. Well, this is supposed to have a note here somewhere on this. To... And it looks like a note. There. Over there. Okay. I can't get over to that one yet. We'll get the photo of this one. You got a corner in route yet? No. You wanna go ahead and grab one in route? Would you would you call for corner, please? Yeah. Yeah, have yeah. one in route. Will you have radio contact the on call mortuary and see what kind of uh, ETA they would have? Don't ask them to come yet to find out what the response time will be. Got a note on the seat here. Good job, Laswell. Yes, sir. That, you Spanish speaking officer working? Uh, I don't believe we have one on tonight. I can find out though. Would you please? Sir. Get over that. What does it say, yeah. Estuve? It says Estuve. Yeah. It's like scribbled, so I can't even see. Uh, you need a Spanish reading officer then, right? Yeah, but it's it's also not written. All the letters. You understand it? Yeah, it's not it's not real legible. Not real legible. Well, that's what I'm saying though. We need somebody not just that can speak it, but that can read it. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, let's ask dispatch if they would check and see if the uh, the RO is in fact a, an employee of the Okay. And yeah. if in fact she's working at this time. Okay. Okay. But you don't want her notified. Right not now, notified, but we want to know if she's there right now. Okay. Control for you. Up until the time we determine that it is going to be a suicide, if in fact it will turn out to be that way, um, we're going to carry it as a homicide. Um, you know, you want to find things like the guy's keys, uh, any signs of struggle, anything like that. Wouldn't be the first time people try to yeah. doctor up a scene and make it look like a suicide when it's a homicide. I want to get a uh, polar right of that gun right there. I got one. Beer bottle has got latency on it, so I, I can't wait. Loretta. Twenty-nine Nevada. That is gonna be a three eighty too. That's a nice three eighty. No, that's not a Beretta. Versa. Oh. I can't hardly believe that would go through it. Go through the back you seat. You can't see where the wound is yet. Coming in to this crime scene, no evidence of any disturbance outside the vehicle. One man in the vehicle, the gun lying on the floor, cocked, one shell casing, what appears to be a suicide note. It doesn't appear to be anything out of the unusual of a suicide. But we still have to maintain the integrity of the scene for the reasons that the family may have questions about what happened. Oftentimes, they go into a state of denial when I say my, my son or my brother, my husband wouldn't commit suicide. So we have to be able to say how it is that we determined it was a suicide. Okay, it says it's nobody's fault for my death. What's that? He's saying it's nobody's fault for my death. That's what that one says? Yeah. No poop on me, it's nobody's fault. Nadia is nobody, okay? Damn me, Muerta, that means of my death. He's saying this is like my last work. This is my last statement no to money. you. Entrance. It's weird, huh? Exit. Yeah. The entrance here, exit back here. Mm -hmm. 
filed a police report with the Metropolitan Police Department this afternoon about 11.30 because our decedent here had uh, kidnapped her and battered her and tied her up in the house. Is that why she's staying at the hotel? Go, so she had taken the children and gone to the hotel. Yeah, she had called, he knew that she was calling the police. Uh, didn't know where she had gone, apparently. Maybe knew that uh, what, he would, what he had done was wrong. He has no other family here in town. More right-handed than left. Mm -hmm. No, it looks like, kind of yeah. like that. OK, so we're pretty much going to classify this then as a suicide because of all the situation. It all, all matches then? Yes. Okay, there's no doubt. We got one round fired. The decedent had a fight with his wife earlier. Police were called. She reported that he had uh, held her against her will. She was able to leave later with the children and was staying at a hotel over there. Apparently despondent because of that. And she filed a uh, kidnapping charge against him? Yes. He was aware of that? OK. So he came out here and capped himself. OK. Let's wrap it up. Okay, we'll still send a code three.